the snack. Oh, it's like a pork. Mm-hmm. Mmm, it's really spicy. I regret that. Um, this morning we're going for a bit of a bit of a trek out to the lake and then we're going for a longboat ride uh, for a couple of hours. Then we're back on the bikes and we've got a couple of hundred kilometer journey ahead of us. Yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let's do it. Today we're heading out on some longboats. Now these are like rickety, two-stroke, loud, noisy, old boats. It's quite an experience. We're heading out to a waterfall, which is a short hike offshore. We've been told that it's beautiful and it's definitely worth a visit. So one thing we noticed cruising into Bar Bay was these beautiful limestone mountains and this lush rainforest. It was a really welcome surprise as our first stop in Vietnam. I can't hear a thing and my ears are ringing. <laughs> that is the loudest boat I've ever been on. We're about to get on the bikes and we're heading to, do you know the city that we're heading to, Anna? Yeah. Looks like we are going from Barbay, which is where we are now, to Bao Luck. Luck? Bao Luck. I'm gonna go with Bao Luck. I reckon I've got about a 50% chance of that being correct. We got really lucky. As soon as we jumped on the bikes, the weather cleared up and the rain stopped. While it wasn't sunny, it was still nice to have some dry days ahead of us. is such an understatement. Coming up over these mountains, it is so thick with fog. There's like literally a couple of meters of visibility. And then you come up to scenes like this, it's, it's absolutely breathtaking. It was, it was fun until that. Have you ridden in fog like that before? No. Neither have I, I've always, Never. We've always wanted to shoot in weather like that just because it looks epic, um, but yeah. it's really hard to find in Australia. Possibly the best stretch of road I have ridden in years. It was just 
constant turn after turn after turn overlooking these amazing mountains. The road surfaces were pretty bloody good as well. And these bikes blasting around there on a DRZ400 is just incredible. I am literally having the time of my life right now. Um, yeah, so fucking good. dark and it's dusty and I don't have any other glasses so I'm wearing sunnies at fucking pitch black yeah I lost the pack I was right at the back and my headlight shines about a meter in front could not see anything and I locked it up going around a corner and almost came off uh, and then a full drive came past so I just stuck to the ass end of that thing and it lit up the road for me but sketchy Oh, Jimmy, good. <laughs> Today was probably the most epic day I've had on a motorcycle in years. We did about 150 kilometers today, and it was some of the most epic roads I have ever ridden. It was up through the mountains, through these small villages. It was just twist after switch back after twist. We got to one section where we were so high, we were up in some super thick fog. Could barely see a meter in front of us. It was absolutely epic. I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings.